Hello and welcome to my fifth Blender tutorial. This one is about bump mapping, and um, it's quite an easy thing to do. The the way that I do it is fairly simple, um, so this one shouldn't take too long. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make our own custom texture for this as well. So add another skill set in there. So what you need to do is right click on that bottom line, split area, and split into two screens. Then this little box down here, you use to change between different window types. Um, we're going to change to the UV slash image editor. Um, then what you want to do is you want to go image new and um, just have it as black and that's okay. Um, then there should be a little pencil over this side. So you click that and you zoom out and then you press C. And that'll give you this little di dialog box here that you can then use to um, select your colors and whatnot. So um, make sure it's on draw, make sure it's on white, um, set up the opacity if you want. And these are all just sort of basic settings. Um, I'm going to set it like that. And then move it down in the corner. Um, now for my texture, I'm just going to do a sort of like for a crate, so have like those edges that stick out, or well, actually they'll be sticking in, but you can invert, um, yeah. so they'll be sticking out, let me finish this, and then I'm going to chuck some text in the middle, maybe something like, uh, uh pie inside yeah and um we'll have an up thing like here that would be funny Yeah. Um, okay, so cool, so that's our texture all done. Now to apply the texture to our object, we will we'll start off with a this is our default setup one, so it's already got some stuff set up, so I might just create a new so this is what you would get if you created an object. So you add new to get a material, then you need to go to the texture panel, which is up here, you can also press something, um, yeah, and then add new, and you can name them, so I might name this, um, box or something, uh, then what you need to do is you need to change the texture type to image, there's a whole heap of other built-in things there, but image is what we want to use now, and untitled, because that's the image that's up there. Um, and you can see it displays it down here. Then what we need to do to make it um, a bump map is to go to our materials panel. And down on this side it has our textures. And so you're going to make sure that that texture is selected. Then we'll go to map input. And this is what the, the texture is mapped to. So you can map it to all sorts of different things. Um, some of the most important ones are UV, which is when you've um, unwrapped the UV face and you want this texture to go on top of that, then that's the one you select. And um, there's also Orca, which is the automatic one. And um, you want to select Cube for that, for because we have a cube. Um, then go Map to turn off color and turn on normal. And I'm not quite sure if you can see that the low res and stuff, but I will. Down here, there is a um, a thing called normal. If you push that up, it makes it really indented. So it's like a really strong um, bump map, and sort of like you can adjust it like that. And so we're just going to go ahead and render now. So if I press F12. And you can see that our texture is showing as a bump map. 
so it all worked well. Um, you can do a few other things, like you can add more than one texture for a bump map. So say for example if I wanted to have that text and I also wanted it to say look, um, I don't know, let's see what we got here, um, add new, we'll put clouds, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll make it look cloudy, um, and then just go in here and just click normal again, and change that to cube. And then if I render again, you'll see that it's like it got both of them. Although it's it's kind of hard to read now, but you can still see pi there, and it's all bumpy and stuff. So um, that's a great technique for all sorts of things, like making rocks look realistic and making pretty much everything look realistic. It's a real one of the best things. Um, to make things look really real. Um, so, thanks for watching, and um, comment, and all that good stuff, and... Uh